this rickety old thing knows where it's going. I feel really bad pulling you away from your anniversary. No, look, we found Thomas together last time. Wait, wait, wait. I think the compass is telling us to go inside this building. We've been here before. Oh, my God. It's the boiler room where we had Thomas. And he's back. What are you doing down here? This area's off limits. Whoa, stock much? I'm trying to figure out what's hidden in this creepy maze. You too, Kenster? I'm only down here to stop you from trespassing <coughs> and stealing. You can't do that. Come on. You both know whoever built this place was flushed with cash built off the backs of people like us. They won't miss an old tile. Put it back, or I'll call the police. What if I told you they stashed a rock down here so powerful? can make dreams come true. That's BS. You're a church going guy, right? Well, I know about miracles. I was on flight 828. You were? Now, I, I get messages from uh, what you might call God. And she's been guiding me, crankly at times, telling me I have to go through this door. You could call the cops. Or... See what's on the other side. Okay, well, this is a little underwhelming. Uh, I don't get it. Why would the compass lead us to an empty room? Sophie, get back! Well, if it isn't Watson and Holmes. So, um, who's that guy? A friend. Yeah, because you have friends. What are you doing here, Egan? What do you think? The same as you, following the calling, right? Oh, what was your calling? Oh, so I see we're playing. I'll show you mine if you show me yours. Yeah, a little bit. You want to go first? Who wrote this? Uh, a passenger. His name's Thomas. When he landed, he was searching for the love of his life. He was supposed to meet him at a fountain. At the angel of the waters. But he wasn't there. You're Leo. Knew it! So not a Kenroy. What happened? Where were you? When the plane disappeared, I thought God wanted to separate us, to punish us for our love. I hope you see that that's not true. I dream of him every night. Not to bust up this Hallmark moment, but your compass is not acting very compassy. It's pointed right at the heart. That compass is pointing the way to the sapphire. Seriously? Logan and I were cellies in prison. Logan Strickland, the A2-Aider. No, Logan Strickland, the Pilates instructor. Yes, the A2-Aider. He told me all about the compass. He said it was a family heirloom, but he didn't really paint the big picture. Well, I got the extended dance version. Great-grandpa Arnold, the first famed compass owner, was also a Freemason. And one of the buildings he worked on was the lodge next door, a.k.a. the Masonic Temple of the Omega Order. This boiler room must have been part of it at some point. That image looks familiar. He drew a heart in front of the other. Like Thomas was pointing us right to it. Puzzle. Carved into stone by Logan's great-grandfather. There's more. You really think this is gonna lead us to the Omega Sapphire? Oh, I know it does. Some muscle, please. That thing up there 